Are you wondering how to make the most of your LinkedIn profile? How to make your LinkedIn profile stand out and build valuable professional relationships thanks to your LinkedIn profile? If so, then you are in the right place. Because in this video, I will go through 10 updated LinkedIn tips on how to build a solid LinkedIn profile and on how to use LinkedIn in the most effective way. It's obvious that LinkedIn is insanely useful for every working professional, not to mention for every job seeker and student. It has come a long way since it was first launched in 2003, and now it counts more than 600 million users worldwide. That's why it's not enough just having a LinkedIn profile. Nowadays, it's all about making your LinkedIn profile stand out, making your LinkedIn profile useful for your career, business and your personal brand. If we haven't met before, I'm Marat from Emotion, myemotion.com, human resources and career services agency. Look me up on LinkedIn. I've worked in recruitment for about 12 years and I've used LinkedIn nearly from the start, both as a candidate and as a hiring manager. As a candidate, I was approached through LinkedIn by a fellow recruiter to work for one of the biggest fashion retailers in the world. And as a hiring manager, I networked with and hired hundreds of experienced professionals from different parts of the world. So these are my 10 tips to make your LinkedIn profile more attractive and more complete, to instantly get noticed by recruiters and hiring managers without wasting any of your time on it. If you are not subscribed to my channel yet, then definitely hit the subscribe button and the little bell so you won't miss out on the latest career and personal growth content. Also, thumb up the video if you feel it was helpful. And just one more thing, if you stick with me until the end of this video, I have a special bonus LinkedIn tip on how to message to a LinkedIn member for free without being their first connection, which I'm sure will be useful to you while building your professional network. First tip is for all of those who still haven't completed their profile. It might seem obvious, but about 50% of profiles on LinkedIn are not complete which obviously won't bring you the opportunities you want. Let's continue on the laptop. This would be an example of an incomplete profile. The complete profile is called All Star on LinkedIn and it will make you appear on the top of all the relevant profile searches. To find out your profile level, go to Me icon, check your profile. In your dashboard, which is private to you, you can see the level of your profile strength meter. Complete your profile until you reach all-star level. To add your work experience, click on the plus sign. Add the title and then enter the company name, work tasks and duties. The same goes to adding education section. Add the title and then enter the university name. It's essential that your resume matches your LinkedIn profile because your potential future employers will check. Tip number two, uploading a good picture. The first thing people will see on LinkedIn is your picture. And just like in general, first impression also applies to LinkedIn profiles. And LinkedIn has reported that profiles with picture get 15 times more profile views and eight times more connection requests than the profiles without them. I can't stress enough the importance of a good quality profile picture on LinkedIn. What does a good quality photo mean? Your LinkedIn profile picture is one of the first things that the recruiters and hiring managers look at as soon as they look you up on LinkedIn. You want to have a photo which is recent and which is a high quality or high resolution if you prefer. You also want the photo to look professional, ideally smiling and looking into the camera. I have analyzed thousands of LinkedIn profiles and I really don't recommend using pictures from events like family weddings or birthdays, selfies, pictures with animals, 
monuments, at the parties, or even pictures at the beach in a swimming suit. It might get you all types of attention, except for the one which LinkedIn platform is known for. So let's just leave those profile photos for Facebook or Instagram. Unprofessional or inappropriate picture is an immediate perception killer and a connection killer also. Remember, this is LinkedIn, a professional website. Make sure your picture portrays the image you want to be aligned with. Think if you would hire yourself as a consultant or as an employee just by looking at your picture. Your photo doesn't have to show you wearing business attire or being in a business setting, but a viewer needs to be able to imagine you at work. Some of LinkedIn profiles send an immediate signal of don't risk it by hiring me. Tip number three, a proper headline. To get started in the right direction on LinkedIn, you have to customize your headline. Think of your headline as of a business card. It has to be clear. Having your job title and the industry is a must. By default, LinkedIn will place your most recent job title as your headline. You will have to go to your headline, press edit button, Customize it using words that define your profile and which would make it easier for others to find you. Include your speciality and avoid generic headlines. You have 120 characters available to make your headlines stand out. Number 4. Making a consistent summary. There are 2000 characters available for you to create your summary. Your summary can sum up your professional history, qualifications, and personality. It can also give viewers a clear idea of what they should do, accepting your connection request, recruiting you for a job opening, or reaching out to you for networking purposes. Your contact details, an email or phone number, or even both if you feel comfortable with it, should be on your profile. However, people outside of your network cannot see your contact details, so putting your email in your summary could be a good idea. It will make the contact with you faster during the time when you job search. Your summary should address who you are, who you help, collaborate or provide services for. To have an optimized and an attractive summary, don't write it in a third person. Let's compare. Marat is an accomplished HR professional who is specialized in recruitment projects. And I am an accomplished HR professional specialized in recruitment projects. I think the latter sounds much better. It just makes it easier for people to quickly get the feeling that you are somebody worth talking to if you write in a first person. Number five, customize your LinkedIn URL and the background photo. Customizing your URL on LinkedIn will help you to brand yourself. It also allows you to reference to your LinkedIn page easily on your resume, business cards or other documents. To do this, click on me icon at the top of your LinkedIn homepage. Click the Edit Public Profile and URL section. You will find the URL section on the top right corner. Keep it simple. It could be your name, your last name, or your business name. The background photo can be changed easily also with clicking on the Me icon at the top of your LinkedIn page. Click the Edit icon in your intro card. In the pop-up, Click the edit on the right top corner of your background photo. It even gives you a recommended size for your photo and how to place it. Consider having your company's logo and a short value pitch along with a photo that could represent your brand. Tip number six, ask for recommendations. Many people seem to hesitate to ask for recommendations from their current or previous managers, colleagues, etc. But these recommendations are a must. 
Your profile is you talking about who you are and what you have done. The recommendations give you the opportunity to have others reinforce your claims. This is how you ask for a recommendation. Navigate to the profile of the first degree connection you would like to request a recommendation from. Click on the More icon in the top section of the profile. Select Recommendation. Fill the relationship and position at the time of the recommendation pop-up window and then click Next. You can include a personalized message with your request by changing the text in the message field. Click Send. You don't need to ask for 10 recommendations at once. Go step by step. Choose carefully who you ask a recommendation from. Those should be people who you have worked or collaborated with and who know you as a professional. Tip number seven, add and manage your LinkedIn skills and endorsements. Adding specific skills on your LinkedIn profile is a great way to showcase your abilities to other members, colleagues, managers, or even recruiters. There are a simple and effective way of building your professional brand and engaging with your network. According to LinkedIn, members who list skills on their profiles receive 12 times more profile views on average than those who don't. If you don't have any skills listed on your profile, the skills and endorsement section won't appear. To add this section and a skill, click on me icon at the top of your LinkedIn homepage, view profile, add a new profile section, select skills from the drop-down, type the name of a skill in a skill text box, select it from the list that appears. Once selected, it will automatically be added on your list of skills. When skills and endorsement section has been added to your profile, you can include more skills at any time. To add more skills, we'll have to do the same. Click on the me icon at the top of your LinkedIn homepage, view profile, scroll to skills and endorsements, click add new skill. In the pop-up window, type the name of a skill in the text box and select it. If your skill doesn't appear, type the full skill name in the field provided and then click Add. These skills can be what you know how to do. For example, technical recruitment, social media management, data research, etc. Think about your endorsements as new and improved keywords. LinkedIn will automatically rank your skills by the number of endorsements you have. You will find out which specific skills you are best known for. They will rise to the top of the list. You also get a chance of having skills added in different languages you might use professionally. Remember, endorsements are not anonymous and you are putting your name behind someone's ability to do something, helping them shape their professional profile. Since recruiters also search for candidates using keywords, it's important to build your skills and endorsement section with relevant keywords for which you want to be found. Tip number eight, focus on quality and not the quantity. All right, I know I have 25K connections, which is a lot, but that is also why I know exactly what I'm talking about. It's important that you don't get obsessed with increasing the number of your LinkedIn connections, but focus on their quality instead. LinkedIn is not about a competition of who has the highest number of connections. Neither it is the opposite. Some people actually fear to get any information shared by adding new contacts. That's just not how LinkedIn works. LinkedIn is just like in life in general. It's all about building relationships. So what you get out of LinkedIn is what you put in. Also keep in mind that there is a limit of 30,000 connections per profile. And I'm warning you just in case if you are already getting there. Tip number nine, use LinkedIn to search for recruiters in your industry 
and connect with them. LinkedIn is as much a search engine as Google, but focused on finding professionals, recruiters, companies and jobs. Search and connect with recruiters, especially with recruiters in your industry. For example, if you are in marketing, you should do a search on marketing recruiters. And this is how it's done. Start your LinkedIn search with the search bar at the top. Type your query, marketing recruiter in this case. Choose a people search from the options offered. View these profiles and once you've found the person you are looking for, follow these people. Always show your profile while visiting their profiles. Don't browse anonymously. Check their posts, interact with them by liking or commenting on those. After some time, ask to connect with them using a personalized message and not the default LinkedIn empty template. And finally, number 10. Don't treat your LinkedIn profile as a resume. Your LinkedIn profile and your resume should correspond to each other in terms of experience and dates aligning, but the purpose for each one is very different. Your LinkedIn profile can include so much more information, like visual elements which contribute to your personal brand, examples of your work, like your portfolio, etc. etc. And as I previously mentioned, it can also include a customized background, photos and videos which can be added to the summary or to each position in the experience section of your profile. Also, recommendations, skills, endorsements, etc. All these elements add interest and reinforce your personal brand. When it comes to your resume, it is a document with a brief summary of your skills, experience and accomplishments which you usually know who is going to view because you have previously sent this document to these people. However, with your LinkedIn profile, it is a highly public piece. It serves as your digital ambassador and should be a link to lead and drive people to you. And just as I promised, here comes the bonus tip. Join LinkedIn groups. Aside from being a place for professionals with similar interests to share content, find answers, post jobs, you can also contact a member of the group for free without being their first connection. To browse groups recommended to you by LinkedIn, in the search bar at the top of your homepage, type keywords or group names of interest. Click search. On the search results, choose the group you'd like. You can request membership by clicking Ask to join button under the group description. Join the LinkedIn groups which correspond the most to your interests. They also help when you are interested in contacting someone who isn't your first connection. Check the groups this connection belongs to. Join the same group and once you are accepted, you can send them your message. Note that there is a limit of 15 free messages per month, but it should be more than enough when used as an extra tool. You can join up to 100 LinkedIn groups at the same time. And there are many LinkedIn groups which exist to help candidates with their job search. There are many LinkedIn groups that exist to help people with their job search. To find groups, click on the work icon at the right top of your LinkedIn page. And a drop-down will offer you several options, including an option for groups. LinkedIn groups usually have jobs relevant to the field of the group. And some groups can be very active, which is why this could be another way of finding jobs which are not listed on the LinkedIn paid job posting service. Thanks for staying with me till the end. Feel free to leave me your feedback, comments and questions. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumb up and share it with whoever you think it might be useful to. Please subscribe to my channel below 
and check out my next video coming up.